is up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 honda civic courtesy of apple honda in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so i was actually surprised apple honda has a good bit of these Honda Civics right now, more so than any of the other Honda dealerships in the area that I've been looking for. So that was pretty cool to see. But anyways, this one of course has been completely reworked for the 2022 model year. Sedan only right now, but they did just release the hatchback version. So that will be coming in the near future. And so in this video, I will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering for ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all of that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. So as you can imagine, there are several different trim levels for the new 2022 Civic. First one being the LX, starting at $21,700. Then there is the Sport, which is the one we have today, starting at $23,100. EX for $24,700. And lastly, the Touring, which is going to start at $28,300. But having said all of that, there are actually two different engine configurations that come with the Civic this year. First one is going to be a two liter direct injected inline four cylinder that one belonging to the LX and the sport trim level that we have today this one puts out 158 horsepower at 6500 rpm 138 pound-feet of torque coming in at 4200 rpm power sent to front wheels through a CVT with paddle shifters for the sport trim level only so that is how you're gonna get the paddle shifters on this one and you guys know we will of course be testing those out in a little bit here but all in all mpg numbers for this setup comes in at 30 in the city 37 on the highway taking regular unleaded fuel but so then there is the other engine configuration belonging to the ex trim and touring trim levels this one puts out 180 horsepower 6000 rpm 177 pound feet of torque coming in at 1700 rpm again sent to the front wheels through a cvt with paddle shifters for the touring trim level only not the ex but zero to 60 time for this configuration comes in at 7.5 seconds approximately which is kind of interesting because that is slightly slower than the previous outgoing generation of this civic but anyways nonetheless mpg numbers coming in at 33 in the city 42 on the highway again taking regular unleaded fuel but so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter test or acceleration test for that matter in our new civic did want to mention there are some drive modes that drive mode switch is located directly behind the shifter and that will give you drive modes like econ normal and sport adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response the steering sensitivity and the climate control settings as well for example on that last one i did just put it in econ driving mode and it did dial back the ac a little bit so that is how that is essentially going to work try to get you a little better mpgs there but overall having now set off that what do you guys say let's go ahead now and put it in sport driving mode that's what it sounds like when i change the drive modes there i did immediately just downshift so it is kind of holding the rpms at a much higher level giving you more power on demand and let's now go ahead and find a straightaway let's put these paddle shifters here to the test first and let's see how quickly they're going to react for us here all right you guys here is our straightaway in three two one here we go Okay. All right, that works, man. They're actually quick. I mean, keep in mind, this is a CVT, so it's essentially like, I don't know, simulated shifting, but still, paddle shifters are dang quick. So if you wanted to have some fun with them, you can actually do that because they're nice. All right, but now, so having gotten that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's get back full control to the Civic here. Let's find a straightaway again, and let's see how quickly the new Civic here can get us up to speed without me doing the shifting. All right, here's a straightaway in three, two, one. Off we go. It's not bad. You shouldn't have any issues emerging onto the highway. Definitely not the quickest thing in the world. Of course, that is to be expected. And again, we don't have that more powerful engine configuration, the turbocharged one either. So it's not bad. The turbocharged one is going to give you quite a bit of extra power. And of course, Honda plans on putting out the SI and the Type R if you wanted even more power down the line. It's not currently out at the time of this video, but those are going to be the ones that you want to go with if you wanted crazy amounts of power. But anyways, that was plenty fine, but to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 11.1 inch ventilated front disc, 10.2 inch solid rear discs in the back. As far as the braking feel goes, let's, that's really good. Actually, quite honestly, I've tested tons of those. 
That is a really good braking feel. Like there's no dead spots. It's definitely on the firmer side. It's not a softer braking feel. I could see the 60 to zero stopping distance being quite good for this one when it finally gets tested. So that is an excellent braking feel for the Civic without a doubt, let me tell you guys. But anyway, now touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're gonna get an independent McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension for all trim levels, you gotta love that. Front and rear stabilizer bar. And I do wanna mention though, there is a slight difference when it comes to the stabilizer bars. The rear stabilizer bar is gonna be slightly larger, slightly bigger in the touring trim level. For example, 17.5 millimeters versus the 17 millimeter for all other trim levels. So just a slightly bigger stabilizer bar for the touring trim level only, so I wanted to mention that. As far as ride quality goes, that is perfectly fine, actually. One of the first things I noticed, ride quality is it's actually really good in the Civic. I will say that it kind of took me by surprise. Typically with compact cars, you don't always get that, but ride quality is quite good in this one. As far as steering feel goes, it's really good. Honda always does the steering feel very, very well. They tend to lean on the heavier side of things, which I personally prefer because it easily points you in the direction that you wanna go. So when it comes to steering feel, absolutely on point 100% here in the new Civic. As far as cabin noise goes, I'm going very, very slow in a residential neighborhood right now. So you're not gonna get very much right now, but I will say when I was on the highway, cabin noise is a little bit on the louder side, comparatively speaking to a lot of other vehicles in its class that I've tested. So that's maybe one of the short comings of the new Civic. It is kind of loud, a little bit noisy when it comes to cabin noise at least, but everything else so far has been perfectly fine. So I will say that. And touching on visibility, I can see great out the back and the shape of this definitely lends itself to visibility. So really no issues with that whatsoever. And also I did want to mention for the touring trim level only, you will actually get rain sensing windshield wipers, which I personally love. Essentially what that is, is whenever the Civic detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's going to automatically turn on this windshield wipers for you. So this is one less thing you got to worry about. It's kind of like automatic headlights but that about rounds up the performance segment of this review guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 honda civic all right so here she is you guys the new 2022 honda civic finished in lunar silver metallic in case anybody was curious of our exterior color name and again completely redesigned for the 2022 model year definitely for the better in my personal opinion this thing looks really good and quite honestly i think honda is going to sell a ton of these things just based off of the looks alone this is a very good looking compact car without a doubt but anyways i'm going to stop rambling let's go ahead and start up front of the civic here led headlights actually do come standard for every single trim level across the board yes even the lx gets led headlights for better illumination at night you gotta love that automatic feature of course coming with that as well meaning when it starts to get dark out at night those headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights also coming standard of course automatic high beams though coming standard for every single trim level yet again even the lx i love that essentially what that is is when you're driving at night you can put the high beams on they will stay on until the civic notices a car coming in the opposite the direction then it's going to dim it back to low beams and then once that vehicle is gone it's going to put it back up to high beams so it is what it says it is it's automatic high beams it's absolutely wonderful i personally love that feature but anyways led fog lights down below coming with the touring trim level in case anybody wanted that but one of the interesting things though in my personal opinion at least is if you guys look at where the fog lights would have gone if we did get the touring trim level it's actually re being replaced with simply a black plastic which is kind of interesting it's just it's just black plastic. It looks kind of awkward. It looks a little bit weird in my opinion up there. But other than that, I think the fog lights would look absolutely amazing. But so anyways, that about rounds out the front of the Civic here. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of this one. All right, and so now since we are around to the side of this one, this is really where Honda absolutely crushed it. The side profile of the new Civic looks absolutely 100% on point without a doubt. But anyways, black window surrounds do come standard on the new Civic. Body colored power adjustable side mirrors also coming standard. Side mirrors are going to be finished slightly differently depending upon which trim level that you go with. You will find gloss black side mirrors with the Sport, heated side mirrors with the EX. That's how you're going to go ahead and get that and heated with LED integrated turn signals then if you were to go with the touring trim level at least. But then taking a look down at the wheel setup, they are going to differ for every single trim level, believe it or not. 16 inch wheels with covers coming with the LX. 18 inch gloss black alloys coming with the sport that of course is what you guys are looking at right now love the double five spoke design as well very nice wheel setup for this one 17 inch alloys with gloss black inserts coming with the ex and then 18 inch alloys with gray inserts coming with the touring so like i said 
Every trim level is going to differ when it comes to the wheel setup. So if you're on a lot, go ahead and take a look at the wheels. You can probably tell which trim level that you're looking at. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of the Civic. All right, so once again, Honda very well done with the back end on this one. You kind of have like almost an integrated rear spoiler to this, although it's not a real spoiler, of course, but it looks dang good. All the way to the top, though, you will find a body colored shark fin antenna. Just below that, you can see that sport badging, of course, specifically to the sports trim level that we have here today. LED taillights and brake lights coming standard for all trim levels across the board. Honda did very well with the LEDs, integrating them into all trim levels of the new 2022 Civic. You gotta love that. And just below it all, you will find a single exhaust outlet coming with a chrome tip for the sport trim level only. So looks pretty darn good back there, I gotta say. But anyways, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around back of the Civic, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there are a few different ways to go ahead and do that. There is a button on the key fob to unlock it. There is also a button on the trunk itself, of course, and there is a button on the driver's side door then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 14.4 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, so quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it. And there is some cargo lighting, of course, back there as well. And in case you were curious, if you lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will actually find a spare tire as opposed to the fix the flat in case anybody wanted to know that answer. But so now go ahead and make our way up to the rear legroom. That comes in at 37.4 inches. So for reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. If you were looking for a rear center armrest with cup holders, you will have to go with the EX or Tor trim levels rear ventilation does not come on this one unfortunately and there's no rear charging ports then for those rear passengers either unfortunately but always like to mention it but now let's go ahead and make our way up to the front seats manually adjustable cloth seats coming with the lx and the sport heated front seats coming with the ex and the touring the touring is also actually going to add an eight-way power driver's seat four-way power adjustable passenger seat and leather seating then as well but having said all that i will say it was one of the first things i noticed the seating is dang comfy especially with them being just manually adjustable cloth seats the seating is really really comfortable you guys so definitely can see myself going on a long drive here in the new civic without a doubt just based on the seat comfort but let's now go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping of course and leather wrapped if you were to go with that sport trim that we have today or the ex or the touring so it definitely has a very nice feel to it but now let's go ahead and make our way to the start up let me show you guys the new key here you do have your honda logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock the button to pop the rear hatch and then the circular button that is going to be your remote start essentially that warms the civic up on super cold days so it's already nice and warm by the time you actually get in so that's pretty cool but anyways push button start actually does come standard on every single trim level across the board so all i'm going to do here simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of all the air vents there but then once started up as far as the gauges go you will find a seven inch digital gauge display for the lx the sport and the ex then if you were to go with the touring that is going to give you that 10.2 inch full digital gauge cluster so that is going to be the really good one although this one isn't bad but that is definitely going to be the good one there so speedometer is on your right tachometer is on your left there is a digital speed readout front and center you can also adjust what is on the left portion of the gauges by using the steering wheel mounted controls it gives you trip a trip b how many miles you have left until you hit empty some radio information if you wanted it when you need your next oil change the list goes on i will say the only thing i would have liked a little better and i'm sure it's different on the 10.2 inch digital gauge cluster so when you adjust the driving modes in this thing with any gauge setup i always like to see the gauges change slightly as well for example if i were to put it in sport maybe some red hues econ mode would be maybe some green hues but anyways the seven inch digital gauge display is not going to give you that unfortunately but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality a power moonroof is going to come with the ex and the touring overhead sunglass holder coming with the touring 
Touring Auto Dimming Rear View Mirror coming with the Touring. Home Link Controls coming with the Touring. So Touring Trim Level really does give you all the creature comforts, I guess you could say. Automatic Climate Control, I will say though, comes with every single trim level. Essentially what that means is you can set a temperature and it's going to automatically reach that temperature for you. So that's pretty cool. And I will say the AC in the Civics is great. It's definitely very cool right now, which is a good thing because it's going to get to 88 degrees here in Pennsylvania today. Sport pedals coming with the sport trim level or essentially aluminum pedals, I should say. They look pretty cool down there. Dual zone climate control coming with the EX and the Touring. Wireless phone charger coming with the Touring trim level only. And overall, I love the new interior of the Civic and here's why. I think what really does it for me is the singular air vent and no it's not completely an air vent you got the air vent portion in the middle and all the way to the right and the rest of it's kind of blocked off but the design to it is brilliant i love it it looks so dang good up there and it's different and i like different and that definitely makes a statement it's surrounded by a gloss black finish definitely looks good now the doors that's a different story kind of needs to work on the doors a little bit but again it's a compact car i guess it's that's expect got this random piece though of plastic right behind the door handle so i don't know why that's there they could have finished that in like any kind of material like the material found around the shifter here which is brilliant but they just left it as a boring black plastic so i don't know that kind of bothers me a little bit but anyways around the shifter speaking of brilliant finish they could have left this like the doors but they didn't it looks absolutely amazing i love the texturized finish to it as well it's a very high quality finish at least it feels like so i know it's probably plastic but it feels good i like that but anyways just in front of that you got a good bit of storage usb charging port 12 volt power outlet just to the right of the shifter you have dual cup holders there is an electromechanical parking brake behind the shifter and a decent amount of storage within that center armrest as well so overall interior quality is fine i think it's a lot better than the previous generation and again i love that singular air vent that looks so dang cool but now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here and so again this is going to differ amongst the trim levels if you go with the lx sport or ex you're going to get this seven inch color touchscreen display which isn't bad but if you go with the touring trim level you're going to get a nine inch color touchscreen display Either way though, you do get Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. It's gonna be wireless for the Touring with that nine inch screen, although you do have to hook it up here with the seven inch screen, so I did wanna mention that, but wireless is pretty darn cool, I will say that. Factor navigation system coming with the Touring trim level. And you can of course check out your radio information up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound systems here in the new Civic, I will say it's a huge difference from the previous generation here. Here's why. Four speakers and 160 watts coming with the LX. Eight speakers and 180 watts coming with the sport and ex but for the very first time ever in honda history for the touring trim level you will get a 12 speaker bose sound system typically in the past honda has manufactured all of their sound systems even for their top trim levels but now bose is coming out for the touring trim level that is pretty cool but anyways we do have that eight speaker 180 watt sound system with us here today so what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and Let's test out the clarity of this one. I don't scroll through the past anymore. <laughs> I haven't listened to country in a while. Eh, it was okay. 180 watts is meh. Eight speakers, though, is pretty darn good for a compact car. I will say that a lot of other manufacturers will do six speakers, so I do like that it has eight speakers, but sound system is just okay. If you wanted the best, go with that Bose sound system. That is definitely going to be where you want to be at if you enjoy listening to music, at least. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the Civic in reverse, you will find a rear view camera with three different views coming standard across the board, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side side curtain airbags do come standard, but also driver and passenger knee airbags as well. You don't always get that. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard across the board, Honda Sensing, I love this, here is why. Collision mitigation braking system, road departure mitigation system, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, traffic jam assist, and traffic sign recognition as well. And again, that comes standard every single trim level. You gotta love that. But if you were to go with the EX and the Touring, you're also then going to get a blind spot monitoring system then as well. But overall, 
When it comes to my final thoughts here of the new 2022 Civic, I love the new look. This looks dang good. I'm not sure they could have designed a better looking compact car, quite honestly. And just for that reason alone, I think the Civic is going to sell like crazy. But LED headlights also coming standard is a brilliant thing. I think more manufacturers should start doing that. Not every manufacturer is doing that still yet so the fact that you get so much better illumination than the previous generations of the civic is definitely a very good thing braking is dang good as well i could definitely attest to that i'm not sure what the 60 to zero stopping distance is going to be but the braking feel is wonderful i'll definitely say that steering feel is plenty good as well honda always gets that right affordable pricing also a very good thing for the honda civic as expected as far as room for improvement goes it is slightly slower than the previous generation for whatever reason however i will say i do think the looks is going to make up for that very easily new manual transmission available for the sedan you will be able to get one in the hatchback. I've already read that. Although that's not out at the time of this video, you guys know I will be reviewing that once it does come out. And of course the SI and the Type R are gonna have a manual as well, but also multicolor ambient lighting, I think would look dang good in the Civic. And I think it would appeal to a lot of buyers that will be purchasing a Civic as well. Honda, if you wanna do that in the future, I think that would definitely help sales as well. And the last thing I have to mention is this random piece of plastic in the doors. But that's just kind of a personal pet peeve of mine. But anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Put in the comments section what you think of the new 2022 Civic. I always like to read your comments. Feel free to follow me on TikTok at the bottom of the screen there if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in the new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay go.